Along with champagne and throwing up on a tuxedo, our first guest has become a part of our annual New Year's Eve tradition. She is an Emmy and Grammy Award winner, whom you can see live on her 80 City Like a Boss comedy tour. Please welcome Kathy Griffin. <laughs> Wishing a happy new year to people, huh? I only work with news models. Now look, <laughs> what's with the scruff? Anderson news Cooper models. would never do the scruff. Well, I why mean, wouldn't he? I bet he because would. Anderson Cooper called his hair his money maker, <laughs> which I believe is a porn term, which you would know. <laughs> and, why would I know that? <laughs> oh, I don't know. You straights hate porn. <laughs> um, <laughs> His money maker. Does he really call his hair his money maker? And something else. <laughs> <laughs> that was like such a bad double entendre. I don't even. I didn't even laugh. It wasn't that bad. Can no. I ask you something? Why is Anderson still doing this show with you? Because, How dare you? Well, no. It's nothing. first of all, he's my guest. It's really my show, and I let him do a guest spot. I That's see. The way I see it. Why is your guest showing up? Because you abuse him terribly. <laughs> James, how dare you? Show the spring, the, the clip with the... You mean the love? Show the love? Uh, yeah, I want to just ask love. you, what happens? In case you thought you were too pale. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Anderson Cooper has been spray tanned. <laughs> no, he, there's no way he wanted that. <laughs> they get me. They finally get me. Oh, look, he... Um, he, we, we have kind of an agreement, which is um, he wants things to be in like a cone of silence. So what I do is I then come on your show and then tell your audience and you on television everything he tells me privately. Oh, what did he tell so, you privately? Oh, God, I could go on for hours. Oh, really? And then we'll talk about my dinner the night before with Ryan Seacrest, who's the devil. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe that even happened. But tell, what about this cone of silence? What, reveal, well, lift the cone, please. Fine, fine, fine. All right, so, you know, Anderson will say things like, um, uh, well, you're not going to ask me any embarrassing questions, right? And I'll say, of course not, Anderson. That's just not my way. And then... <laughs> Somehow, um, I asked him the price of a carton of eggs. Uh huh. Of course, he's a Vanderbilt, so he thought it was a thousand dollars. And the next day, he texted me. He goes, "Now the whole world knows I don't know the cost of a carton of eggs." And I said, "Honey, they never thought you knew." Um, so that's who he is. I yeah. mean, that's why we love him because well, he's so he's... perfect and he's so gorgeous and he's such a great news guy. And he's going to host the town hall with Barack Obama. Although, oh, he told me this in the cone of silence. What? He said, "Make sure you don't tell anybody." So here we go. <laughs> he said, "He said he's way more." He said before New Year's, he goes, "You know, I'm way more nervous." about what's going to happen with you than sitting down with Barack Obama Thursday. Is that right? Yes! And so yes. Barack Obama doesn't like spray pesticides in his face while he's doing the show. He should think about it. It's fun. <laughs> it's fun. It it's is fun. funny. It is funny. It's an now, executive order. Let's talk about your dinner with the man you describe as the devil, yeah. Ryan Seacrest. Well, you have said many terrible things about Ryan Seacrest. Look, she and I made up. I feel like... <laughs> Who is also your competitor on New Year's Eve. Competitor? He she wishes, please. <laughs> All right, so... So, um, well, you know, I can talk to you because you are, like, friends with everybody. Oh, by the way, congratulations on you and Oprah buying Weight Watchers. <laughs> I know you're behind this. I know you. What? I know you're smoking your mirrors. And I knew you from K-Rock when he did the sports. And he read the paper and with the baseball cap. Now he's got a beard and he buys Weight Watchers with Oprah? What's going on? Buy, Who are you? I did not buy What's Weight Watchers with Oprah. What have you become? You're going to be you're shocked. You're a shell of yourself. I would have liked to have bought it with Oprah, but I'm gonna I wasn't I'm going to spray tan you and tell you. Puerto Rican. All right, look. Which, by the way, is kind of half your base. All right, so I, I agreed to have dinner with Ryan Seacrest, even right. though... He invited you? 
Look, he's afraid to say no. He's like you. He's, okay. It's, it's a fear-based relationship. Okay, all right. And so um, what I do is I use his name to make reservations at five of, like, the toughest restaurants to get into in Manhattan, and then I call and cancel on his behalf, and I get to think of new reasons. Like, I'm sorry, um, this is Mr. Seacrest's assistant. He can't come tonight because he realized he has no talent. Bye-bye. <laughs> and, um... <laughs> Le Cirque and Jean Georges, and so then I ended up just getting him to come to my hotel, and then he starts with, a, "Are we in a cone of silence?" And I'm like, "Yeah, we're in a cone of silence." Like, oh. I'm not going to give it to Cher, I'm not going to give it to Seacrest. Yeah, this and is so more of a cylinder of silence. With I poked the top a couple open. holes in it. I poked a couple holes in it. But um, anyway, he was upset with me because um, I said something on New Year's Eve. But I just thought it was funny. But just you know, he wants me to correct the record, like it freaking matters. Anyway, um, I think. He, by the way, I think he's he's printing and. Money right now. <laughs> so don't feel too bad for Ryan. Anyway, <laughs> so when, when Ryan Seacrest is around me alone, he tries to act like intellectual. And so it's, which I know. I know, right? I gotta give him my two Emmys. Here you go, buddy. Uh, but, um, so uh, he's like, um, oh, tell Anderson I thought he did a really good job uh, moderating the debate. So I love that window, right? And I go, really? Who are the candidates? <laughs> Right? And then he looks, he's, he's all nervous, and he's like, we're in a cone of silence, right? And I go, yeah. Who are the candidates? <laughs> and he goes, you know, the one that Anderson moderated. So keep in mind, Anderson moderated the Democratic debate. Oh, yeah. And Seacrest goes, Trump, Cruz, and Hillary? <laughs> Come on. That's so nice. And then... So, then late, so then he got, he got mad, he texted me the next, I know, I know, that's why I go for the kill, because I go for the kill. <laughs> See, that's I'm right. one of these people is the devil, but it's not Ryan. What? <laughs> so then he like, he like texted me like five times the next day, he's like, I know that Hillary is not a Republican. I'm like, really? What's her middle name? See ya. Got <laughs> him. All right, anyway, so All that right. was fun. Well, that's good. There won't be another dinner next year, I'm guessing. Who paid for the dinner? I pick up the tab no. every time. Did yes. you really? Yeah. No. No, no. But, but I will say this, though, and this is one of the reasons that I loathe him, because, <laughs> you know, he's like a cute guy, and, like, everything just freaking falls in his lap, and the Kardashians are his fault. You uh -huh. know, we're all paying the price. <laughs> you know, they keep multiplying with Candle, Candle and Francine and the lip one, and, <laughs> you know, Ty, Ty is like, texting a 14-year-old, and now, <laughs> now it's like, you know, uh, uh, Kylie's mess. Like, it's such a nightmare. So that's all his fault, you know, he's the producer of that. So we can't be too easy on him. And this is all code of silence. Yeah, right, right, right. We can just stay in this room alone. So I'm sitting there. My boyfriend and I are sitting there with Seacrest and his date. And um, <laughs> I had to cost him a fortune. Anyway, uh, oh, that is terrible. I have crossed the line. You really have. Can we move on? <laughs> anyway, so, um, so, so, so two separate people, just because he's Ryan Seacrest, send him like $500 bottles of wine. Oh, really? Yeah, so that's what it's like to be Ryan Seacrest. Like, just wherever he goes, he is so beloved. And then they probably feel bad for him because he's with me. So they just start sending him. And I don't drink, but my boyfriend's like, that's really expensive wine. And they just randomly, like, they think it's an honor to send Ryan. I wanted to break his balls with it. <laughs> I think I'm you a just... giver. It's because I'm a giver. I think you just did. <laughs> Kathy Griffin is here. We'll be right back. We're going to take a break. Paul Ryan Seacrest. Now, you're on a tour right now. You're like a boss tour. And it, these are very, very funny and very... You do a lot of dates, too. I do a lot. I did 70 cities last year. I'm going to do 70 more this year. I have so much new material. Every show is different. I've done Carnegie Hall to, you know, the Fantasy Springs Casino on Saturday. Now, where I don't know what kind of fantasy I'll be delivering. But I'll be telling tales out of school. I'd like to ask you about an email I received um, after your appearance last year. You remember you were yeah. here... And you asked me, you invited me to your, come to your comedy show. And yeah. I was like, oh, this will be great. And right. I told my wife, we're invited. this came from a gentleman named John Oliveira, an assistant of yours. Yes. He says, do Jimmy, uh, hi, Kathy Griffin would love to invite you to a night of comedic fun. Oh, how she, generous of me and my team. She'll be performing at the Mark Taper Forum Very in Los Angeles. Very prestigious Mark Taper downtown. Very Gives me the dates. Yeah. Unfortunately, we cannot currently give out comps to Kathy's yes! show. Yes! Yes! 
because it's a theater, center theater group show in a limited seating auditorium. However, I've included a form for you to complete and return to me if you wish to purchase seats. Usually best available. <laughs> Sorry for any oh, inconvenience this may cause. And I, this is the form. Yeah. Like, this is the invitation. Yeah. Oh, okay, are you freaking serious? Yes. You have the nerve. You want comps, you rich f <laughs> you <laughs> Yeah. I agree with you. Don't he wear short leaf shirts. Don't even. I cannot even believe you. I should have charged you triple. Hair flip. I I must say I was surprised. Oh, when I'll I bet. It. I'll bet. You should have seen all the responses from my celebrity friends that were like, I have a cold and they just didn't want to pay. You want me for free? Typical man. <laughs> Kathy, where did this, where was this photograph Oh, this is such a great taken. picture. Okay, so this was like two weeks ago, right? So I go to this thing. Yeah, look, take it in, take it yeah. all Get even closer, in. because yeah, I think people closer. really need to Take it in, see there's no there. retouching. This is, this is why I have this to do so 70 blair. shows a year, because I have so much new material. So I went to the Hollywood Reporter Power Women's Breakfast. So my table was... Chris Jenner, Selma Blair, who pl who's going to play her in that like upcoming People vs. OJ thing, oh. and then Rita Wilson and Lena Dunham and uh, Megan Trainer, who loves the the bass. It's all about the it bass. It is all about that. She likes the bass, and then Looney Tunes Sean Penn, who's freaking nuts. So he's Sean Penn's crazy. So anyway, he's an amazing actor, but he's crazy, and you're just afraid of him, and I'm not. So anyway, he, look, look at his hair. Look at his hair. He's got two Academy Awards. He's got all the money in the world. And so I go up to Sean. He's about to give an award to Melinda Gates. So I go up to them, and he's talking to Melinda Gates, and I go, excuse me, Mrs. Wozniak. And so I turn to Sean, <laughs> trying, to make, trying to make her laugh. So I go, Penn. And he turns around, and he goes, oh, jeez. <laughs> Which I get a lot from celebrities. Right, yeah. I go, Penn, what's wrong with your hair? And he goes, what do you mean? I go, it doesn't have a shape. It looks like you look like a homeless person. Fix your hair. And he goes, what should I do? I go, do you have any gel? And he goes, I don't think so. Not on me. I go, Penn, Barbara Streisand's over there. Robert Redford is there. Get it together. <laughs> so, so the best part is Chris Jenner dared me to bring Penn to our table. So I go, Penn, come with me. And he goes, I don't want to. And I just took him over there. And I go, ladies, a disheveled Sean Penn. And I got a big hand. I was a big hit at my table. I probably won't be invited again. No, yeah, but, yeah. But yeah. Sean Penn. There he is. There you are. So he started, he actually, Sean Penn started his tribute to Melinda Gates and actually started by saying, I know I'm in a room full of women, because Kathy Griffin just told me my hair looks like crap. And it got a big hand. It got a big hand. See that? I think he's a fan. I think he's <laughs> big. Sean and I are in a cone of silence. He's a big fan of mine. Well, it's very good to see you. Thank you so much for stopping by. In the middle of your big tour, 80 cities, the Like a Boss comedy tour, Kathy Griffin.